Okay, so let's uh, talk about the energy in a flowing fluid. We're going to be doing uh, conservation of energy, and we haven't really done a lot of um, inlets and outlets. And so now that we have inlets and outlets, we've got to add the energy that's coming into our fluid that's just in the mass of the fluid that's coming in, the energy of a flowing fluid. So the um, flow work is required to push the mass into or out of our control volume. We've mentioned this uh, real briefly previously, uh, but my, my kind of definition of, of work is force times distance, and the force could be the pressure times the area times the distance, and the area times the distance can be the volume, so it's really kind of a pressure times volume. You know, not exactly and not always a constant pressure, constant volume. Uh, but the work could be thought of as pressure times volume, the, the lowercase work, so capital W, pressure times volume, lowercase, specific work, pressure times specific volume. Similar to what we did for boundary work, enthalpy combines internal energy with PV, right? The definition of, of enthalpy is, a, is U plus PV, uh, so... Here we go. So, for energy for a non-flowing fluid. So, so fluid that is just sitting there, fluid that that is not right, non-flowing fluid, not going into or out of the control volume. So, so fluid that is just sitting maybe in our control volume. So, we're not talking about inlets and outlets right now. But energy of a non-flowing fluid would be U plus maybe V squared over two plus G Z. But of course, there, there's there's no V right there. If it's not moving, there's... Okay? Uh, but the energy of a flowing fluid would be H plus V squared over 2 plus GZ. So, so inlets and outlets. Inlets and outlets. Inlets and outlets... The energy in the flowing fluid is the enthalpy of that fluid. So ask yourself, is it coming in as a saturated vapor? Is it, is it coming in as a mixture with this quality? Is it leave, How is it leaving? Is it leaving with some, you know, you might get that H from those property tables. If it's a delta H, you might get it from um, specific heats. Uh, v, what velocity is it going in or what velocity is it going out? And at what height is it going in? At what height is it going out? Many times the height uh, we've looked at, the magnitude of that is negligible. All right, so for inlets, the energy of the fluid going in and out is H plus V squared over 2 plus GZ. That's in addition to any Q that's coming in or out. That's in addition to any work that is crossing our boundaries from going in and out. This is just for the inlets. All right, so let's look at some problems.